Hello YouTube friends, Dustin Bellinger here. Uh, haven't been sharing many videos lately, but I wanted to do one here of some pickups. Just try and get back in the swing of things here a little bit and share a little more content uh, with some of you and be more active than I've been in quite some time. Uh, I had held off. I was going to make this video when uh, I received my... Uh, Harmon Killebrew Coke bottle cap and that item was lost in the mail so I did a video on on that um, here so but uh, since I can't include that here's some other things that I've uh, picked up for the collection here is an item for the Nebraska PC and normally I focus mostly on autographs for that uh, PC, but uh, here I found uh, this item here and not signed, but certainly kind of cool. 1970s team issued uh, stadium giveaway postcard of former Nebraska Cornhusker Stan Banson. Uh, he was... Originally from Iowa, I think he may have just been across the border in Council Bluffs. I'm not sure if that's correct. Maybe he was Des Moines. Can't quite remember for sure, but uh, did play at Nebraska. He was a third team All American uh, during his time there and then drafted into the major leagues. Uh, moved up. Uh, to the majors rather quickly and he uh, was the 1968 AL Rookie of the Year. Uh, had pretty good seasons in 68 and 69 wasn't too bad. Uh, after that, you know, career kind of tailed off. He pitched a uh, number of years into, uh, into the 80s but uh, never really recaptured uh, this early form but uh, definitely a cool piece got information on the back with uh, some of his career highlights this was 1970 so his rookie and sophomore seasons basically also has like the schedule of when these uh, postcards were given out at the stadium so his here was on August 11th was a 2 p.m. game against the White Sox. The next giveaway was going to feature a postcard of Thurman Munson. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, enough with that. Uh, moving on to some items for the type collection. And start off here with a uh, another team issue postcard. This one, L.A. Dodgers postcard featuring Hall of Famer Don Drysdale. I believe these could be purchased at the stadium and other uh, vendors in the L.A. area. Uh, the general timeline on these was 1962 to 1965 that these were available. It's possible, you know, they might have been available for some time after 65 as well, probably. Yeah, but uh, definitely kind of a uh, cool and unique item. And always looking to add new stuff for the type collection. Here, moving on. Another one. This is another regional food issue. 1953, I believe. This is a Stallmeyer... Uh, Stallmeyer Wieners, I believe. Stallmeyer Meats, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, this was you know, a regional food issue sold in hot dog packaging. And I believe there was some uh, of these actually uh, where you could get these at the stadium as well. But the main... I was like a purchase of a hot dog at the game, but the main main place to get them was uh, 
uh, was in retail through, you know, purchasing the food product. And you can see here with the backs, kind of cool free ticket giveaway. So you can imagine some of these got cut up and sent in to enter into that for free tickets. This one here features Monty Irving. And all of these uh, cards in the set, they're all New York teams. So that's back when you had all three New York teams, Yankees, Giants, and Dodgers all in there. Hall of Famer Monty Irving. And this is about as poor as poor can get. Got a little bit of a 710, like with a, I don't know if that's like typewriter or what that is that's on there. <laughs> significant uh, surface damage but I tell you what these are not easy to find in uh, in great condition by any means uh, certainly you can find them in nicer condition than this but uh, you're gonna pay quite a bit for them in better condition uh, even in this uh, condition I I paid a uh, hundred dollars for for this one so <laughs> it's uh there they are uh not cheap by any means but very cool little oversized oddball sides definitely right up my alley and here we go talking about uh unique sized items mini minoso or restus minoso depending on uh what you like to call it. This item here is a uh, 1954 All-Star Picture Pack. Uh, very cool item. The checklist on these is kind of hazy. Uh, maybe like 18, 17, 18 different players in the checklist. Uh, there was a lot of other similar products out there and uh, there's it seems like some team issue stuff has gotten kind of mixed in with the checklist uh in things when it was being cataloged it was it's just a little bit vague uh but uh these were i believe were uh, a mail order item uh, you could send in for mail and they uh the you know, small fee and the uh, set was sent to you in, uh, in an envelope. And I've seen some of the original envelopes marketed with these as well. Now, uh, this is, you know, one of the few items I've got of Minosa. Oh, so it was really kind of happy to and pleased to add this to the collection. And... Definitely, you know, oversized, unique item. So thanks again for watching. That's uh, what I picked up recently. I've got a uh, card show pickup that I'll show you in another video. So spread out some of this content a little. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.